What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we are going to be fixing one of these ugly, unsightly things on the M4. And you might be saying, how the heck can an M4 be unsightly? Well, I don't know why the heck BMW did this, but let's go check it out. That right there. What the heck is that? Chrome? I think not. Chrome will not take you home. So we are going to be replacing the grills. Stay tuned guys and I'll show you what I got. All right guys, so huge shout out to Brian over at Keys Motorsports for sending this over. He sent over a t-shirt, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and slap that thing on. He also sent over some cool stickers. So I'll have a link to his website down below and also his YouTube channel. If you guys have a uh, F32, one of the four series BMWs or three series BMWs, the newer ones, go ahead and check his channel out or you know, just check his channel out for just because it's a great channel. He has a bunch of the new BMW stuff on there but not really M any M4 stuff. And he also has a website where he sells some awesome things in his shop. One of those awesome things would be this right y'all. Carbon fiber front grills. So these are super sick. Uh, we are gonna be replacing that disgusting chrome grill with these carbon ones. This is gonna be the easy way of doing it. Now, let me show you the hard way of doing it. Most people install these grills like this, where they basically undo some of these bolts right here, peel this off, and undo all these little bolts right here, and then get in there. I don't think that's necessary. I'm pretty sure I can get in there just with my phalanges and uh, take this grill off, so let's try it out. With a quick glance at the new grill, you can see there are multiple tabs here, here, here basically all over the grill. So what we're gonna do is find those with our hands. Now, my hands, I wear like a large size glove. Sure, my fingers are a little bit skinny, but uh, there's quite a bit of room to get in here. Now, what you should be able to do is feel down below and basically start kind of prying up on those tabs from the inside here. Find them all around. I'm gonna start right here. You'll feel the clip with your hands. It's not really that hard. I'm really just going by feel here. And once we get the first one out, the uh, the second one should be much easier. Plastic is pretty durable, guys, so don't be uh, super scared of it. I do have clear bra on the front of my car, so if you guys want to tape up down below here, do some precautionary measures. That might not be a bad idea, but I'm not too worried about it with the clear bra on there. All right, so we got almost all of them out. I think I just got one more over here on the side. Ooh, look at that. Super, super easy. Now this one does have the M4 in it. I thought that I would be able to take these pieces apart and basically click the two-piece design into the rear of the carbon fiber one. However, uh, these tabs just don't line up. As you can see, the, the top tabs are actually a little bit different. So that's kind of unfortunate. So I know uh, there's some company and I'm gonna have to find them that makes this little piece that actually clicks in here and then I can put the M4 badge on it. So I'll end up doing that eventually. But for now, let's click these bad boys in here. I am super, super stoked to get these installed. Now this is obviously pretty dang easy. Watch this. Oh my God, so difficult. That looks amazing. It looks so badass. I'm not really for debadging uh, an M car, because I definitely like it, as you know, half the people with freaking M badges on their car don't even have an M car, but man, those look sick. I like it, they look good. Ooh, that looks good, so good. Oh man, that looks really nice. Let's go ahead and close the hood. aggressive in the front. I love the way that looks. It just matches so well with the, uh, obviously the carbon fiber here. 
we got the carbon fiber on the roof here and then we got that carbon fiber rear spoiler so man all in all the car is coming together very very well we got a few more uh detail pieces that i definitely want to put onto this car so make sure to subscribe guys we also got some performance mods coming for this thing so uh kind of a big one and yeah that should be happening pretty soon so thanks a lot for watching guys we will talk to you soon later and wrench on guys